What is up, Pats Nation? It is Patriots Global back here with another video, and today we are going to be talking about one of the more underrated offseason additions in Patriots' newly acquired defensive tackle, Mike Pinnell, the former New York Jet. Now, it has definitely been a very interesting offseason for the Patriots, and a lot of us Patriots fans like to look at the more exciting additions, I guess, if you will, guys in like a Nikhil Harry, Damon Harris, um, Jawan Williams, or even free agency, you could go there too, in guys like Demarius Thomas or Dontrell Inman, but a unsung hero, an unsung addition is without a doubt a Mike Pinnell. Now, if you watch my videos, you will know that to me, the biggest need for the Patriots really at this moment in time comes down to the defensive line. You could make the argument that it's offensive tackle, but for me, truly, it's going to come down to uh, defensive tackle. Currently, when you're looking at the top four picks of the New England Patriots defensive tackle depth chart, you have Lawrence Guy, Mike Pinnell, Adam Butler, and Danny Shelton. Now, that's a pretty solid defensive tackle depth, but it is definitely not what it could be. It definitely leaves them high and dry at certain points and is not going to be the desired depth or starters once week one would come. But with a Mike Pinnell, you are getting a very solid, dependable defensive tackle who can get the job done. Mike Pinnell was brought in as a free agent this offseason and stands out as a very strong fit for the team. A lot of people feel that Mike Pinnell coming to the Patriots could really help, one, the Patriots, but two, also help him and also really help develop him further. Now, Mike Pinnell was never a guy who had a very consistent season. His best season actually came last year. He was graded as the second best interior defender in the AFC East. Number one was actually Patriots defensive tackle Lone Sky. Um, he graded 90 overall in the season and Mike Pennell graded an 87 overall in the season, which shows that he actually did pretty good on the season. The biggest question is going to come down to can he capitalize on his best season or is he going to kind of have a great season, just one of those random great seasons and start to fluke? That's the big question. Now, unlike a lot of other teams, Bill Belichick does not ask too much out of his defensive tackles. Their interior players are basically just a two gap on the inside and they just really are asked to maintain the leverage in their gaps but all in all, just to defend the run. You look at who Bill Belichick brings in, a guy like a Danny Shelton. Um, he had guys on the team for probably too long in a Malcolm Brown. Guys who never really got pass rush, but could really uh, uh, plug the middle in helping stop the run. And that's really what just Bill Belichick asks for. Now, with that being said, Bill Belichick does not just never ask them to become pass rushers as he occasionally will ask an interior rusher to create some space on the one gap penetration but more often than not the Patriots are just looking for the guys to eat up space and defend the run and because of that description because of what Bill Belichick and the coaching staff down there in New England asks of the defensive tackles it makes Mike Pinnell really just a perfect fit for the Patriots now Pinnell is an absolute beast when it comes to playing in the inside now, he isn't a guy who's going to explode off the ball or move particularly well. He isn't a guy who has some serious hand movements or is going to be fast when getting off the line, which ultimately will go back to his pass rush. He isn't going to be an Aaron Donald. He is not going to be a Fletcher Cox, not by any means, but Pinnell is a very big and a very strong, more specifically very strong, that's something that goes very underrated about him, uh, but who is very difficult to move off of his spot. And that goes again back to his strength. When it comes to these offensive linemen trying to move these uh, interior defenders back in order to create separation, in order to create holes for the running backs to get the opposing team's running game going, you really do have to throw the guys off. You can't have them standing in the same position, and that's actually really hard to do with Mike Pinnell because he's a very big guy. I mean, he's six foot four, 322 pounds, so right there off the bat, you can tell this is not a small guy. Um, but because of that, it's very hard to get him off of his stance 
which ultimately means that he's very good at plugging up the inside, plugging up the middle in order to stop the run. Lawrence Guy is actually a very similar and effective run defender who shines in a two-gap system. However, Guy is just a little bit quicker and has shown a little bit more success lining up as a three technique. Um, an interior defensive line duo in a guy in Pinnell would definitely not offer anything too special when it comes to actually rushing the passer. But it would be incredibly difficult to run against a Mike Pinnell and a Lawrence Guy. Now you even look at a Lawrence Guy. Go back to when he was with the Baltimore Ravens. He really wasn't anything special. He comes into the Patriots, and within a couple years, he is an elite defensive tackle. The best interior defender in the entire AFC East. And when we hear that there are a lot of similarities between Lawrence Guy and Mike Pinnell, it really gets you excited that you could have another guy that the Patriots could turn into an elite interior defensive lineman. Now, Pinnell is definitely not a true three-down defensive tackle, and again, that goes back to just his ability to not be able to rush the passer, but because of his elite upside as a run defender and a perfect fit for New England's defense, he is definitely a fantastic value signing for the Patriots this offseason. A lot of fans and Patriots um, analyzers, kind of like myself, um, they're, they're going to try to more look at the stats. They're going to look at, okay, how many run stops did he get? How many tackles did he get? And truly, that's not the only thing you can look at. Now, of course, stats are important, but like you hear me say, stats are not the only thing when it comes to a player. Ultimately, if he can come in and just plug up the middle and have this running back from whatever team it is, because keep in mind, guys, this is something I also like to talk about when talking about the run game, is that the Patriots are going to be facing a plethora of elite running backs. You have Ezekiel Elliott, you have Saquon Barkley, you'll be facing Le'Veon Bell twice a year, and so much more. It's going to be vital that the Patriots stop the run if they want to win games. Now, it's been an issue for the Patriots in the past. It was an issue for the Patriots last year, definitely at points. It progressed as the year went on, but definitely the year before, it was a big issue for the Patriots. So something that has haunted them for a while, but something Bill Belichick is definitely trying to establish. But if they can really gap the middle between a Lawrence guy, but more specifically a Mike Pinnell, that will force guys to go to the outside where you can rely on more guys like a Jamie Collins, a Landon Roberts, Chase, Vin Chase Winovich, and a Michael Bennett. Another thing that will also help is the quarterback scrambling. Keep in mind, you're going to be playing with quarterbacks who are going to scramble. Baker Mayfield, Lamar Jackson, um, more specifically. But if they can plug the middle and make sure that the quarterback also cannot scramble through the middle, then that will help more guys on the edge who can stop the run in, again, a Chase Winovich or a Michael Bennett. That will definitely help them out. Now, I'm not expecting anything too crazy with a Mike Pinnell, not by any means, but he's coming off of one of his best seasons, again, having a grade of 87, really just an impressive season for him, especially again graded as the second best interior defender in the entire AFC East. And if he really works, if he is able to capitalize on this past season and work with the best coaching staff in football, he can only rise up. And I think it's going to be really good for both him and the New England Patriots. And I think that he could be more effective than guys in the past that we've seen in a Malcolm Brown and a Danny Shelton. But that is it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on Mike Pinnell? Let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure you guys like and subscribe. It helps me, the channel, and even you guys out very, very, very much. Make sure you guys share this video with everybody who knows and go to the pages global family. Other than that, I will catch you guys in another video.